Welcome to Brightwheel. In this video, we'll explore how Brightwheel benefits early educators just like you. Joining a community of tens of thousands, you'll discover how Brightwheel can help you save time, get rid of your paperwork, and foster strong relationships with your students and families. We consistently hear from administrators that Brightwheel is a game changer for their programs. This Getting Started resource is filled with helpful tips on the features in Brightwheel that programs with around 15 or less students currently enrolled find most impactful. Before continuing, make sure you are at your computer and also have your mobile device or tablet with you with Brightwheel downloaded. You can find the Brightwheel app in the App Store on Apple or Android devices. This resource will cover how to log into your Brightwheel account, how to add students, parents, and staff, how to invite your staff and parents once they've been added and send them a welcome message. Then we'll cover how to set up check in and out, log activities for students, and communicate with your families. By the end of this resource, you will have what you need to get up and running in the next two to three days. Let's jump in now. Let's navigate to Brightwheel's public website together. On your browser, type in www.mybrightwheel.com. At the top of the page, click Login to be directed to our login page, and bookmark this page for quick access in the future. Enter your email address that your Brightwheel sales rep used to create your account and the password you chose. If you don't remember your password, no worries. Click Forgot Password Now to receive a password reset email and set it to something secure that you will remember. If you need to take this step, pause the video to do so. Once you're logged in, you'll be on the main page and see a purple menu to the left with all the navigation options to features in your account. Let's first walk through adding students. On your dashboard over to the left, you will see a My School button. Click on that and then you'll click on Students. There are two key ways to add students depending on your preference. The first is a roster upload. If you have a document with your student and parent info already, just click Upload Roster. This will allow you to attach your program roster and our team will upload your information for you within one business day. If you don't have a document with that info or simply want to enter this information manually, that's possible too. To do so, click Add Student over to the top right and then Add Students Now in the dropdown. Fill in first name, last name, and when you type in a homeroom, that will also create a room that you can use later to assign other students to. Hit Save Students and you're all set. Let's go ahead and add at least five students now. If you have less than 10 students, this should take you about five minutes or less. Now that you've added some or all of your students, let's add parent information. If you're waiting on our roster upload team to upload your student and parent information, go ahead and skip to the next section of this video, which is adding staff. To add your parents manually, let's navigate to the parents page. This is accessible under the same My School menu option. On this page, you'll see the list of students you've added. Click Add Parent next on a student's row to enter their name, their phone number, or their email address. You can add both in by adding one first, then switching to add the other. When done, hit Save Contact. It'll ask you if you want to invite them now or skip. If you are ready for them to set up their account, click Invite Now. They'll receive an email or a text with instructions on how to download and sign into their Brightwheel account. To add a phone number, click the pencil next to their name and update their profile. Or you skip, then can click Invite All later once you've entered all the parents so the invites go out at once. Now we're really getting set up. The next step is to add your staff. For adding staff members, head over to the Staff and Payroll section. Before you add your staff, it's important to understand what staff roles are available and what permissions those roles have. Pause this video now to review the graphic on the screen and get an understanding of staff roles before proceeding. When you're ready, click Add Staff at the top right corner. Input the staff member's first name and last name. If the staff member will be signing into their Brightwheel account on their personal device, add their email address. If the staff member will not be signing into Brightwheel at all and your program will be using room device mode, do not add an email. You can learn about this option by searching room device mode in our help center. Now you can select the staff member's role based on what's applicable. After filling in all the details, click add new staff and go ahead and invite them. 
they'll get a notification to sign in and you can go into their profile to give them access to specific rooms. Once your staff is added, let's go ahead and welcome our families. Start off building a strong connection and parent excitement to use Brightwheel by sending a warm welcome message with Brightwheel's messaging feature. Open the messaging page, click New Message. Select Parents. Select Entire Rooms. Select All and then Next. Change the type to Alert. Check the box to Send SMS Message. Customize and paste the following message draft into the body box. Click Send Message. Most admins do this right away, so there's a message already waiting for parents when they log in the first time to start things off on a positive note. You have now set up your Brightwheel account with the basic information needed. There are a few more settings you can look at in your settings page found under the My School tab. And if you're using billing, you can check into billing and find those settings there too. Check-in overview. Let's now discuss setting up a check-in and check-out. This feature is a huge time saver for smaller programs, giving you more time back with your students. Parents can check their children in or out using a tablet at the entrance of your program. Or they can simply scan your unique QR code hung at the front door on the piece of paper that you've printed using the Brightwheel app. Parents must be present to scan the code as well. Setting up check-in for families. Navigate to your school settings under the My School option. The first visible setting options are all related to check-in. Quick Scan enables your parents to check their students in or out from the previous device using a QR code. If you are displaying this code on a program device or printing it out to display at the front of your program, turn this on. If you are printing out your QR code, make sure Quick Scan Refresh is turned off as this will generate a new code every three hours. Another optional choice is digital signatures, which allows parents to sign their names. Some licensing requires this, so be sure to confirm what's applicable for your program. If you are printing your QR code, click on the Open and Print Your QR Code option to print from there, and then display the printout at your program for parents to scan. Logging student attendance as an admin. If you are the one checking students in and out, no problem. You can do this from the computer or your mobile app. From your computer, click Students again. You will see a list of your students and check in or mark absent buttons next to each student. We have reports related to attendance that you print and or send to licensing if ever needed. Attendance visibility. Now let's hop into your app. Open your Brightwheel app and log in with the same email and password you did on the computer. You'll see your administrator homepage. If you click on Rooms at the top left, you'll see the room you created with a list of the students there. If the students are faintly showing up, that means that they are not currently checked in. When students are checked in, they will show up in bold font and jump to the top of your list. To change rooms, click the room name at the top and you'll see you can click between rooms that way. Click attendance at the bottom of your screen. Go ahead and select the students you want to check in, out, or mark absent. That's it. Quick and easy to accurately log student attendance. The final thing I want to show that you can start doing right away is logging activities for your students. This is a fun one and one of those features admins love about Brightwheel because it means no more paper daily sheets. On your app, you should already be open to the Rooms page. Click Add Activity at the bottom of the page. You'll see a list of activities to choose from to show families what their student is up to during their day. Some common favorites are photo or food or nap. Let's practice with nap. Select the student this applies to. Click Next. Adjust the time as needed. Select whether this is Start Nap, Sleep Check, or End Nap. Add an optional note or photo. Click Add Activity. And that's how easy it is to log activities individually or in bulk for students at your program. These activities appear on the student's feed for their families to view and engage with. You're all set up with the basics you need to get started on Brightwheel. The number one piece of feedback I hear from admins is that they wish they had gotten started on Brightwheel sooner. You've taken a huge step already by signing up for Brightwheel and taking the steps we covered in this video. Keep the momentum up by putting everything we learned today into practice. 
For questions or help, visit Brightwheel Academy or our Help Center via the Help button available on the side menu in your account. Our support team is also available to assist when needed. We're so excited to welcome you to the Brightwell community. It takes some initial time investment, but the benefits are immediate, saving time, supporting staff, engaging parents. Your dedication to early education is valued, and we're honored to support you.